Okay, so we are on the road officially. We're about 30 minutes later than we were hoping to be. Well, 20 minutes later than we were hoping to be. So that's really not too bad, but we do have like three, right, hours, three and a half hours of driving to do today. So that's not much, but since it's already six o'clock, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a late drive, but that's okay. It is starting to sprinkle. I don't know if you can see. Yep, there, it's sprinkling a little bit. But anyway, we'll just, uh, maybe we'll drive out of it. Anyway, okay. Oh, also, exciting tour inside of the new car. Woohoo! Why are you driving the new car? Okay, we're off on the road trip. Yesterday was a short day. We just did four hours of driving or something like that to get through St. Louis. But uh, today we will be in Nashville and we just left our hotel, which is in Collinsville, Illinois. And we are on our way to our first exciting sightseeing uh, adventure portion of the trip. So we should be there in just a couple minutes. There it is, up in the distance, world's largest ketchup bottle. stopped at a gas station so we can fill up and it was very handy because it's right next to the ketchup bottle so we can get even more time with it it's kind of exciting for those of you thinking why do you care so much about this I think it's mostly because people always Wyatt's family made fun of him because he ate a lot of ketchup on everything so it was like a great tragedy to not have an extra bottle of ketchup in the pantry. So, anyway, here we are. Never run out of ketchup if we had that one. speed show driving tour of Nashville since it's raining. Just went through a really sweet uh, tunnel and we've seen all sorts of exciting things. Right now we're hunting Ryman Auditorium. So, oh, and it's still raining. Look, there's the Country Music Hall theme. So, we're seeing some cool stuff. Okay, we're outside our hotel in Nashville, and we are across the street from the stadium, which is approximately where they start doing the fireworks. Oh, you could just hear some. And I don't know if you can see this very well, but there are hundreds of cars trying to get a parking spot. So many people parked. There are people parked on the grass on the side of the highway, just like on the embankments and the shoulders. It's insane. So, we have high expectations that this fireworks show will be, oh, there's one, awesome. Yeah, we have high expectations that this fireworks show will be well worth the crowds, but we are gonna go inside to our room where we can see them from our window. The fireworks show is starting. We're watching from our hotel room. It's pretty exciting. 
probably not gonna be able to film the whole thing for you guys. Cause I think it's gonna be pretty long. Oh, look, smiley faces. There was a sad face. Oh, it was just cause it was upside down. And star. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty fun. So, unfortunately we can't hear the music from in here, but we're not dealing with all the crowds. And we're in air conditioning, and it's not raining on us. So we'll take that as a win. up to uh, pouring rain a few hours ago and this is kind of what's left of that and it's pretty beautiful. hiking up to the top of Klingman's Dome and when we got there it started to rain so we walked the entire way back down in decently heavy rain I would say yeah so we're both pretty wet and pretty cold because it's like less than 60 degrees up there and uh, yeah it was probably 80 when we started out on this journey so anyway then we're having a uh, crash course on uh, mountain weather anyway I don't know if you can kind of see out it is really foggy can't see anything so we hiked up pretty much all the way there look at all the smoke and uh, didn't have any sort of view and pepper shakers. It's crazy. For some reason, Melissa is very excited about 
the 20,000 salt and pepper shakers in this museum that we paid to get into. So we went to this huge used bookstore and you can just see all of the used books here. Close out prices, whatever it is. Insane amount of stuff to look through. Better go get started. Why it's already bored. So we're driving again in the rain. It's uh, Sunday morning, which I guess is day five we decided. Yeah, so um, yeah, and we are headed north again. So we're on the second leg of the trip on the way home, but we got a few stops to make. So anyway, we're still having a good time, but it is definitely still raining. But we have had good weather too, so it's been kind of rains for a while and it stops. We'll just see how it goes. Maybe we'll drive out of it. Springs and apparently it's gonna be a new tradition to stop at Pizza Hut on the way home from vacation so why it's inside getting our dinner and we're going to go home and celebrate our second anniversary in our house 